Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. In this seven days that I video, I'm going to be showing you seven mods I highly recommend to improve your gaming experience. None of these mods change the gameplay or alter the difficulty, but rather they tweak the interface to make it far more convenient to play. Some of these mods I've been using for a little while and I get asked a lot about them. Some of them are kind of new to me and now that I found them, I don't want to play without them anymore. Links and credit will be in the video description down below if you want to go check them out yourselves. Without further ado, let's get to the mods. The first mod we're going to look at is the one I get asked the most about. It's the food and water bar modlet from Kane, the guy who made Darkness Falls. What this mod does is it moves the food and water bar from being tiny slivers underneath the tool belt over to the far left side underneath the health and stamina bars so they're a little bit easier to see and provides a numerical representation about how full they are. Why have the fun pimps ever decided to make them hard to see little colored bars underneath the tool belt instead of where they originally were, I'll never know. But I've been using this mod for a long time and I refuse to play the game without it anymore. The next one is also one I get a lot of questions about. It's the lockable inventory slot mod and this one is also by Kane. What it does is it gives you this slider at the top here that allows you to select a specific number of inventory spots starting with the top left one and lock those in place. So if you decide to sort your container, it doesn't move any of the items that you have stored there. It also adds this lockable slot mod spot to the vehicles that you have too. So you can do the same thing within your vehicles. What that allows you to do too is to be able to do a quick dump of your items and it leaves all your locked slots alone. So for people like me that carry a whole bunch of things with me that I want to have at all times, this prevents me from being able to accidentally dump them into a random chest and forgetting them somewhere. The next mod is one that I've just recently started using and now don't want to play without. And it is the Stop Fuel Waste mod by OCB Maurice. What this does is it takes any of your workstations that require a fuel source, like your campfires, your forges, your chemistry stations, etc. And it allows you to go through and use them like you normally would. But if you get ready to cook something, instead of just burning through all the fuel that you have, it goes through and processes everything that it needs to in the processing slots. And then when it's done crafting everything, it just turns itself off. How wonderful is that? That way you don't have to worry about wasting all of your fuel. So if you decide you want to get a whole bunch of food cooking or right before you leave the house, you decide to put a bunch of things into your forge to smelt down, you can do that. Turn on the forge, fire up everything that you have there, and when it runs out of things to smelt, it turns off and saves the rest of your fuel. Love this mod. The next mod is another one by OCB Maurice, and this is the one that adds additional waypoint icons to your map. By default, the icons that you have when you do a save waypoint on the map are very limited. You have about eight or nine to pick from the default ones that everybody else has. This modlet adds four additional rows of icons that you can use, and you can actually use the color wheel to go through and select what color you want it to be. So if you got yourself a little water source, you can label it as your water source. And now you have the blue water drop icon on your compass up there showing you where the water is. So, so friggin' convenient. And it also colors the text over on the side too. But being able to have all these different colored icons and different shape icons to really point out different things that you use in the game, absolutely a wonderful mod to have. Doesn't affect the gameplay, but sure does make it a lot more convenient. The next mod up is the Craft From Containers mod by Aiden Thorne. This is a new one I've been using myself and I absolutely love it. What it does is it allows you to be able to craft things that you have the availability to craft without having to have all the materials as long as you're close to some sort of storage that has those materials in them. So for instance, I have all my storage there. I have no supplies on me. I could open up the workbench right next to it and go through and start crafting any of the stuff that's in here. So if I want to try and make myself a bat, I'm like, oh, okay, well, there's that's what we need. We need forged iron, wood, leather, and duct tape. I don't have all that with me. Click on craft and it pulls it from the containers that are nearby and starts it crafting. Absolutely works with all of the workstations you have around here. So your forge at works, your cement mixer, your chemistry station, campfires. If you're just trying to craft things out of your general inventory, 
you don't have to have the supplies sitting in your inventory every time. So when you're getting ready to try and cook something, you're like, oh, okay, I was going to try and make some pumpkin bread. What do I need for that? Pumpkin, cornmeal, and water. Got to go over here, try and find what you have and try to remember to get it, add it, and then go back and do it again. You could just click on, hey, I'm going to make some pumpkin bread. Boom. Start cooking it. It automatically pulls it over and you're good to go. Love this mod. The next mod is definitely one of just convenience. It's the Show Quest POI mod by TYW. So when you go into the trader and you select to choose a job from him, it lists out to the side what POI you're going to be going to. Saves you the trouble of having to click on each one and say, oh, okay, so this one's at this POI. I don't want to do that one. I can decline, go back into it, choose another one and see what he has. You can just see which ones are there before you even have to click on anything. This one is so much simpler and more convenient than the default the way it is in the game. Love this mod too. And the last mod on my list that I recommend is the Longer Loot Bag mod from Donovan. And it is exactly what it sounds like. So you finally finished your horde night. It's been a long night of killing zombies and they've dropped a whole bunch of loot bags around here. If they've started dropping loot bags as soon as you started the horde night, there's a chance they may have despawned. With this short little modlet installed, it keeps the bags sitting around longer so you don't have to worry about them despawning while you're killing things. It also works for any zombies that just randomly die at night outside your house walking around. You don't have to worry about the loot bag dropping and disappearing before you even have a chance to see it. So another one I highly recommend. And there you have it, the seven convenient mods for seven days to die that I absolutely recommend. If you have any others that you like, throw those in the comments down below and I can go check those out. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on it. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell so you get notified when new videos go live. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful, fantastic day, and I will see you in the next one.